I would like to demonstrate how to do this lovely little winter composition in oil pastel and paper collage. This was not an idea that I came up with. I found it on Pinterest one day, but it sure is cute and can be done in about one class period. So it's a fun little project right before a nice cozy winter break. Okay, so we're going to use oil pastels for this. I love oil pastels because you can do some color blending with them and they show up on dark paper. Um, they're just a really fun medium to work with. So I think you can see that I have drawn a big triangle and I'm filling it in with green. This is just plain old regular green. And I like to turn my pastels on their side sometimes whenever I'm covering a big area. All right, that just kind of puts a base coat down and then I can start doing fun stuff. Now, let's think about what two colors do we use to make green? So yellow and blue, right? All right, so I'm gonna grab some yellow and blue and that's what I'll be using next. Right here along the edges, I'm going to do some diagonal lines to, as I think about the texture of a tree. It's gonna be a beautiful little evergreen tree. I like to also add a little zigzag kind of across the bottom and I start making little stripes as I go across and it kind of looks like the levels of branches that you see on trees. All right, so there's some yellow. I'm going to overlay that with some blue and I'm just doing the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm kind of creating these zigzag stripes that go all the way across. So I had my base coat in green, I've added some blue and yellow. I can always come back on top of it with green if, it, if I feel like it got too blue or too yellow or something like that. I can come back and fill in some spots. But I also usually like to come in here with some white and go just right on the tippy tops and around the edges and it starts to look like some frost and it really helps blend all those colors together nicely. That's the fun thing about oil pastels, is they just blend so beautifully. All right, down there on the bottom, for the trunk of the tree, I'm gonna just do a little brown square. I could also use some blacks or grays or peach or whatever to kind of create the color of the tree, or the texture of the tree trunk down there on the bottom. All right, so I just did a few little vertical lines right there. Okay, now at the bottom, we are going to do a bit of a collage. So I'm going to take my white paper, I'm just going to take and start tearing little strips. Usually I like to keep these about the size of my thumbnail or maybe, maybe even the tip of my thumb. doesn't have to be super tiny, but you don't want big, huge chunks on here either. All right, I like to tear it best because it kind of makes a soft edge. And since we are doing snow, it's kind of nice to have a softness to the texture. All right, so I like to just fill in a big, huge space down there Whoop. with glue. And then I usually try to do the edge of the hill first to kind of establish where it's going to be so I don't end up with anything crazy looking on there. And I just start filling in my spaces. I try real hard not to leave any of the black paper showing. I need just a little bit more. You can tear as you work. Or you can tear everything up front, however you like to do it. All right, so we'll do a little something like that for our hill. All right, now I always like to add a little bit of snow gently falling in the background. The easiest way to do this is just with our white, we can add some little dots. You can make them big or small. If they're big, it will look like it's closer to you. If they're small, they'll look like they're further away. Or if you're really feeling fancy, you can do some snowflakes like this, like the letter X with a little line through it. Whoop, I kind of messed that one up. Let me show that again. <laughs> Let me show you that again. Letter X with a line through the middle. Okay? Letter X with a line. 
And that's another little fancy way that you can do some snowflakes. All right, from here, you can add anything you want to. My students sometimes like to draw little snowmen off to the side, or if they celebrate Christmas, they might like to turn it into a Christmas tree, or those who don't just like to leave it as a winter tree. These are so fun and beautiful, and oil pastels are just such a fun medium to work with. It's a really good little project.